And welcome back to this Reality Check Half Hour Special. Tonight we're looking at the fight for the Republican Party and how this year's primary is about more than just one election. Before the break, we told you how the fight for delegates in the Republican primary is far from over. In fact, it is causing the kind of internal struggle the Republican Party has not seen in at least 20 years. The fight from state to state so intense now that in fact in one state, Nevada, the Romney campaign has decided to create a shadow party. When Nevada held its Republican State Convention two weeks ago, Ron Paul supporters, they swept the delegates there, winning 22 of the 25 available delegates. Then many of the leadership positions in the Clark County GOP, well, they were also won by Paul supporters. And that led to an official censure of the RNC chairman, Ryan's Priebus. According to the Las Vegas Sun, Priebus says he was disappointed with that censuring. Again, according to the Sun, Priebus, along with the Romney folks, though, have now decided to turn the so-called Team Nevada office for Romney into a de facto Republican Party. The article goes on to say this, quote, The goal is for us to be running, get out the vote, running phone programs, voter ID, voter contact, everything through the Team Nevada headquarters, that strategist told the reporter from the Sun. That is, they say, everything the party is supposed to do, except the GOP here can't raise money, and has the inmates running the asylum. The plan would be to transfer money directly to Team Nevada. The GOP insider said, quote, essentially, we are setting up a shadow state party. So why set up that shadow state party? Because what the Republican National Committee did not see coming at the beginning of this election is what is being referred to as the Liberty Movement. Ron Paul supporters are not just supporting a candidate. Congressman Paul, in many ways, is just a messenger. So what is the message? Well, it's one of small government, of fiscal responsibility, returning to the Constitution as rule of law, restoring individual liberty, and ending interventionalist wars, among other things. What the national media is not telling you is that not only is Congressman Ron Paul winning delegates as state contests are being held, but according to the American Conservative magazine, quote, Paul supporters are now state party chairs in Iowa, Alaska, and Nevada. They have made inroads from Maine to Louisiana. These gains do not evaporate the minute the presidential campaign ends. So here's what we know. In at least five states so far, the Ron Paul Liberty Fringe people, well, they're no longer just the fringe. Despite what the national media or the RNC is telling you, these people are now the leadership in many states. And it is in the inroads that they're making, as the American conservative pointed out, that have ramifications for the party far beyond August in Tampa. And it is the message of former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin referring to in a recent interview with Fox's Sean Hannity. Listen. Mitt Romney's it now? Do you think it's pretty much over? Well, let me put it this way. I I don't want Newt to drop out. I don't want Ron Paul to drop out because I want debate still on the ideas that both of the other candidates have been able to espouse and explain to the country. I want Ron Paul's message about cutting the budget, about the economic woeful times that we are in and what we can do about it. I want those to continue to be discussed and Newt has some good ideas. We have all of these these problems that have got to be faced as one united America. We have got to get back to the Constitution being the blueprint towards that more perfect union. And if we elect constitutional, common sense conservatives who understand that government is not the answer. Clearly, there is a bigger narrative here than just this one presidential primary election. But what about this primary? Is this contest still up in the air? Can Congressman Paul mathematically pick up enough delegates to win the convention? Well, in a word, yes. And that's because of a little-known rule in the Republican Party that allows delegates to vote their conscience. I'm going to tell you all about that and why it's taking place. Well, it's reportedly sending the Romney campaign into a panic at this point when we come back.